Assalamu alaikum dear researchers and welcome to lecture 7 of PRS SCMA Smart PRS 4. This lecture is about multi group analysis. First of all we will discuss the concept of a categorical moderator. In the previous video we discuss a moderator which was metric in nature or continuous variable. Now we'll discuss how a categorical variable can be moderator and one way we can check the moderation of a categorical variable to do a multi group analysis. then but how we can perform the test for measurement in variance before we proceed for the multi group analysis test and how we can test this multi group analysis using permutation and mga or multi group analysis test available in smart pls 4 we define moderator as a third variable that affects the strength or direction of relationship between and iv and dv so if we have a variable and we have hypothesized that this variable has an effect on other variable the moderator will be a third variable that affects that strength and relationship previous in the previous video we discussed about the metric or continuous variable and the procedure was very simple that we created an interaction term we saw that if inter that interaction term is significant and then we did the slope analysis to see what is the effect of a moderator uh, on the relationship similarly if we have a categorical variable or a variable which has discrete values Now in this particular video we are going to focus on those those categorical variable which has only two values. Uh, so we can code them as zero and one and create a dummy variable. So remember this: if you have a zero and one value in a variable, we call that a dummy variable. So let's suppose that a categorical variable like gender, and we code zero as female, one as male, or vice versa. So that will be our a uh, binary categorical variable so here we are actually discussing in this particular video we are going to discuss the binary categorical variable so there are two ways that we can uh, assess the moderation of a binary variable one way is the same as in creating an interaction term and the other way that i'm going to emphasize more is about multi group analysis so what happens in a multi group analysis that we split our data into two or more groups and then estimate the model separately for each group of data if we use a binary variable for interaction term we do the same procedure like we create the interaction term we see if that interaction term is significant and then we will get if 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 we see the slope we get two slope so for instance this is iv over here and this is dv over here so and we have got gender as a moderator so we can say this slope is for female and this slope is for male created in the interaction term on the other hand in the multi group analysis what we do is we have already split the data into two more groups estimated the model separately and then we can compare the results for those estimates to see if they these are significantly different for each path so this way what we can do is that if we have a complex model we will get the result in one go instead of creating lot of interaction terms as i will just show you that what is the difference if we create lot of interaction term and do multi group analysis So let's do this on Smart PLS 4. For the sake of this video, we are going to use a different data set. Uh, for uh, the basic reason is because we have a, a categorical variable, in fact, gender, by which we are going to split the data, and we have uh, almost uh, equal number of, or comparable number of uh, respondents for this data. So that's very important if we are doing multi-group analysis. uh all the groups should at least fulfill the requirement for the minimum uh, required sample size and secondly those groups the difference between uh, the number of respondent for each group should not be too large so uh i'm going to use this data based upon a technology adoption model how we can use a categorical variable as uh, a moderator using the interaction term so for that reason i have chosen gender as the interaction variable or moderation variable and it has two values 0 and 1 0 represents the female 1 represents male so this is my moderator and what as we have demonstrated in the previous video we are going to make the connection for the moderation and uh, okay let me make some more connections and uh, between self efficacy and attitude so we can actually do it for all of these uh, paths like this or maybe i have missed one but uh, this is for demonstration so let's start go to calculate button and its assumption is that we have already uh, verified the measurement model and we are going to go for bootstrapping first to see which of these moderations are significant these are settings as we already discussed in great detail before so let's start collection uh, calculation for bootstrapping 
since a lot of interaction terms are created so it's going to take a bit of time uh, but not that much time so these are the results let's go to path coefficient but these are direct effect results and underneath you can see that we have these moderator results so out of these moderation as we can see let me zoom it a bit this gender into self-efficacy the effect of this interaction term on attitude is significant and this gender versus self-efficacy the effect of ease of use is significant so let's save this result copy to excel discussion because we are going to compare it with our results of multi-group analysis in the next step we can see simple slope pls scm algorithm start calculation and here we can see the simple slope analysis and you can see that since we have only two values 0 and 1 so we will get the two slopes one of them is gender at 0 and the other one is gender at 1 so this is the difference for the binary variable as compared to the metric variables where you saw you had three slopes gender on between self-efficacy and attitude was significant so let's check out that graph effect of gender so attitude is an effect of gender and self-efficacy on ease of use is also significant so here we can see that graph here we have a significant no this one is not significant this one seems significant so gender into self-efficacy is effect on attitude so you can see there is a visible difference between two graphs for gender at one that is the males the slope is uh, higher than the one at female similarly the effect of gender on relationship between self-efficacy and ease of use is also significant you can see the difference in the slope as well for female the graph is steep for male the graph is a bit less steep testing for moderation using categorical variables in the interaction term process uh, is mostly preferred if we have to check for moderation on, on a single or, or two or three parts a better way to do is to perform a multi-group analysis now let's see how we can perform a multi-group analysis and how it can replace our interaction term moderation. First of all, we have to click on the data and generate groups from the existing data. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate group on the basis of gender. Right click this gender over here. The name, let it be like this. Okay, now let's label the categories. Gender zero is female apply gender group one is male apply now we have two categories go back to the data generate a different path model the path model is actually same but uh, here the interaction term is removed now the procedure is first of all we need to check for the measurement model for both groups this algorithm we have to select the both groups and then start calculation now it all these uh, statistics will be calculated for both groups so here you can see we have a data group for complete for female and results for male so let's again check the reliabilities and validities this is for male all these are green which means that uh, our requirements are fulfilled for female all these are green except for these prone back alpha but since our composite reliability rho c is adequate so we can continue with that what about discriminant validity stmt uh, between attitude and intention to use it at par but it's it's less than 0.9 and since conceptually these two variables are quite related to each other so we can accept this value similarly we can check for male still high but under uh, the limit of 0.9 for complete this is okay we can also check the formal larker criteria uh, for both groups so once we have established our measurement model our first uh, step is actually done next next step is to, to test for measurement model invariance or measurement equivalence this means that we are confident that our estimates or the estimates for the both groups do not result from a distinctive content or meaning of the latent group across the groups which is actually which happens because sometimes when uh, we are collecting the data we have different uh, groups from different nationalities from different cultures and different gender and they understand the uh, questionnaire differently or the method of data collection may be different 
and in, in that can raise question if whether the there is actually uh, a measurement variance which is uh, creating the difference between the group or is it actually the difference in iv dv uh, or, or the categorical variable which is affecting this difference so the procedure to uh, test the measurement model invariance is mycom or measurement invariance of composite model in smart pls4 there are three steps number one is configural invariance in configural in invariance we determine if this is actually happens when we are collecting the data we ensure that our data collection method is same our questionnaires or surveys are same uh, the screening process is actually same and the settings of the algorithms that we apply that, that is the pls algorithm is actually similar for all the groups the second is composite and variance in which we ensure that the composites that are created are actually uh, there is a uh, there is not a significant difference uh, in the composition in the composites that are created from the different weights although the weights uh, will be different as i will see uh, show you but uh, the uh, there is no significant difference in the composites that are created and the third step is equality of composites mean and variances this ensures that the means and the variances of the composites that are created from the latent variables are uh, quite similar and there is no significant difference between all those composites mean in essence the measurement model invariance uh, for the step 1 we uh, do not need to check in smart pls because that is something that we established before and during the data collection once it's established we go to step 2 that is composition and variance in which we can see that these these weights are different now for instance if i have uh, this male group this female group you will see the weights are different but the composites that are created from these uh, weights uh, should not be significantly different from each other and in step 3 once this composition variance is established we check for the quality of composites means and invariances if step 3 is it, it, it does not fulfill our requirement which means these are not equal uh, we can uh, still perform the uh, we can still compare the groups where we cannot pool them so we we can uh, analyze the group separately if composition and variance is not established if it is established what we can do is that we can check for step 3 and if they are equal we can have a multi group analysis and we can have pooling of data if they are not equal we can still test for the multi groups but we cannot pool the data so let's see how we can do the mycom for mycom we have permutation multi group analysis option in smart pls4 we click this and then we can see that we will have different settings group a group a is female group b is male so we can choose the two groups thousand is a recommended permutations and one tailed and 0 0.05 and we can start calculation on the left hand side you will see that we have mycom uh, results for step 2 and step 3 for step 2 Composition invariance is established when the original correlation between group 1 and group 2 or uh, known as C is greater than this CU or 5% quartile of the correlation. So uh, as you can see that this value is 1, this is 0.99. You may find difference even at 5th, 6th, 7th or subsequent uh, decimal places but smart pills will make it green for you to tell you that this requirement is fulfilled. In step 3a we check for the equality of means and you can see that uh, these are insignificant these confidence interval which means that these original differences means are uh, uh, not different actually they are uh, not significantly different uh, same for the variance we can see that they are not significantly different so our criteria for uh, this measurement model invariance is actually fulfilled once measurement model invariance uh, condition is fulfilled, we move to uh, the multigroup analysis approach. Even if step two is uh, okay, that is composition variance, we can still do perform the multigroup analysis. And uh, since we are focusing on two groups, we, we have two uh, approaches that is parametric test, which is similar to the t test, right, with bootstrapping. And uh, this is actually not much recommended because it's ought to be very liberal test and leads to type 1 error then within non-parametric test we have two options permutation and pls mga if the group sizes are quite comparable the permutation is the preferred one but if there is uh, like uh, a difference such that for instance one group 
uh, is three third times or two times greater than the other group, then PLS MGA is a preferred approach. However, we can always perform all of these tests to see uh, the compare the results. So let's demonstrate in Spark PLS 4. The permutation we have already calculated, so we can see the result. But let me show you how we calculated permutations again. We go to permutation multi group analysis. Minimum 1000 is recommended and greater than actually 1000 is recommended. We go to one tail test and 0.05 is a significance value and then start calculation. And here in the path coefficients, we can see the result for the permutations. And if, if there is a significant difference, you will see that these permutation P values will be uh, shown as significant. Right. So as we can see that between self-efficacy and attitude, uh, gender is a moderator because this is the, these permutation P values are significant between self-efficacy and ease of use. Again, gender is acting as a moderator and it is not acting as a moderator or is, has no multi-group uh, effect on uh, the remaining path coefficients. Let's copy these results, permutations. And previously we copied from our interaction term and you can see that there is actually a similarity in both results. For in the interaction term, you can see that uh, between the same path, here we have the same results in the multigroup analysis and permutation. Next, let's go to our multigroup analysis. So in the same calculate option, you have a bootstrap multigroup analysis. Choose the group, group A female, group B male. You can choose it uh, vice versa as well and then start calculation. And since this is a one tail test, so while interpreting the results, we have to see, okay, uh, smart peel is converted to two tail for us. And here we can see that uh, uh, there's a bit of different but not that much because it is insignificant at 0.051 so uh, practically the results are quite similar except for if this value had been less than 0.05 it would be green as well but the same paths are actually quite uh, near to significance that is between self-efficacy and attitude and self-efficacy and ease of use for the parametric test we go for the parametric test because the variances are actually equal had the variances been different, we could go to, uh, we can check for Welch stator weight test. But since variances are uh, same, so we'll check the parametric test. And again, the results are quite similar to bootstrap MGA. So as I've already mentioned that uh, permutation is the most recommended test. You can go for bootstrap MGA if there is a too much difference between the sample size. Moderation of a categorical variable using uh, the interaction term method and using the multigroup analysis.